today's Project Diaries, I will show you how to plant a square foot garden. Hi guys and welcome to Project Diaries. Today's video, I want to teach you how to plant a square foot garden. Now if you're not aware of my previous video of how to start a square foot garden, check the link out here. Now as soon as I uploaded that, it became really popular and it's been ranking number one on YouTube since I started uploading it and hopefully touch wood it won't move that spot um, and it just seems to inspire so many people to start their own square foot garden now i started this uh, as you know from that video uh, square foot gardening started uh, by a man called uh, mel bartholomew who released this book i think way back in the 80s uh, he even had his own tv show that ran over eight years and it basically just inspired uh, the whole of america to get out and and grow more now Mel has, this book uh, is like the holy grail for me when I first started Project Diaries and this it's so informative and uh, due to the popularity of my previous square foot gardening video it actually fell into the hands of Mel's family. Now unfortunately Mel passed away back in 2016 but Mel's family sent me some absolutely heartwarming and beautiful messages uh, and I explained that I had this really old second hand book and I loved it so much. Mel's family actually just went above and beyond and they sent me all the new additions from Mel's books. Now I can't recommend these anymore. If you are a beginner gardener and you're watching this because you need some inspiration and some advice, planting a square foot garden can seem really daunting with spacing and everything. But these books are phenomenal. If you do want to get hold of them, I will leave the links in the description box below. And the most amazing thing is, is this copy was actually signed by Mel. And it was just, I don't know, I, I treasure these. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've, I've been really delicate with these. And in this message, Mel's family sent me, uh, a, me and Grandad a message, uh, giving us the best wishes. So I, I know I'm sorry I'm rambling on this intro, but it was so precious to me to, for, to receive these and those messages. It's just amazing. But anyway, getting back to today's video, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to plant a square foot garden. Now the best thing, if you've got a small space, you really wanna think about the crops that you're gonna grow. Now, obviously, if you don't have that, much, that uh, bigger space, you wanna grow crops that have a really good yield. So you wanna to stick to um, plants like tomatoes and cucumbers, and lettuce, or some sort of berries, or you want something that's gonna produce a lot of fruit, sort of peppers and chilies and things like that. So you're gonna get lots of fruit and vegetables for little work. But um, in today's video, I wanna try and explain and go through loads of different garden ideas for, for beginner gardeners, for more experienced gardeners, for winter gardeners. There's so much you can do. So I'm gonna try and pack it in and make it as easy as possible for today's video, and here's how to do it. So here's a selection of all the seedlings that I'm growing this year. There's a nice array of different basils. I've got lots of companion plants here. These are marigolds. I've also got some runner beans. The link to grow these is on the screen now if you want to try these out. These are really good to grow vertically. I've also got some cucumbers, some squash, some nasturtiums. Also really good for uh, companion plants. These are beetroot, but I wouldn't recommend doing these. I've done a mistake here, but this was the first time of me doing these. These need to be planted straight into the bed. But I've also got loads of jalapenos and uh, kumquats that I'm trying this year. I've got various different chilies. And um, these ones haven't gone too well. I've done these uh, for the first time as well, but I will be trying some more companion plants later on. So there's a look at my plants, but you also want to look at my raised bed. Now this bed is four foot by four foot. Now you can make your raised beds whichever shape you want, but I definitely wouldn't do them any deeper than four foot. The reason why is so you can reach into the center without packing down the soil. You can make these raised beds as long as you like, but I definitely wouldn't go more than four foot wide. Also, if you're starting a square foot garden with young children, I wouldn't recommend more than three foot wide. Children have a much shorter reach, so a three foot bed would be perfect in order for them not to pack down the soil either. So if your bed is four foot by four foot, this will give you 16 spaces to grow various different plants. And if you want, each space can have a different variety. So let's zoom into one square so we can check out spacing. Now each square foot will be 12 inches or 30 centimeters. And they can hold variations of one plant, two plants, three plants, four, six, eight, nine, or 16 of each plant. Now each variety of plant that you grow will need its own certain spacing. Here's a quick list of popular plants. You can pause this or come back to it later on. So here's many examples of what you can grow per space. 
you can grow 16 carrots in one square, two celery, one eggplant or aubergine, two fennels, four garlics, eight peas, nine parsnips, and so on. So to get the best results and high yields, your bed really needs around eight hours sunlight a day. Here's a quick animation that I've done to show you the perfect way to set up your bed. Now the reason why you want to set it up this way is so that your vertical plants are at the top end of your bed and the sun gets to the front of it all day long. So this means you want your taller plants at the top end and then go shorter as they go on but I'll show you a diagram in a minute and this will make sure there's no afternoon shading to any of your plants. Here's an animation of a bad way to set up your bed and as you can see here the sun goes behind the trellis and causes lots of shadow mid-afternoon and your plants will struggle or even go leggy without enough sunlight. So always make sure your raised bed is in the perfect position before you start planting. So here's one of my suggestions for beginner gardeners on square foot gardening. As you can see the trellis is at the top and this is for all your vertical plants. It's really worth growing beans, peas, cucumbers and squash vertically especially if you haven't got much space. So if you set your raised bed up correctly, you really want to make sure your vertical or vining plants are the furthest away from the sun. This will eliminate any shading that I showed you earlier. The next row would be for your tallest plants. A good example for this would be tomatoes. Unless you're growing a shorter bush variety, tomatoes can grow really tall. So you want to make sure these are in this row. The next row would be for your medium height plants. These could be many peppers, bush beans, bush tomatoes or chilies. And the first row would be all your shorter plants. I've gone for a really nice selection of herbs. You can also grow lettuce, radishes, garlic, or any of your shorter variety plants. Here are some more garden ideas if you're a little bit more experienced or if you want a salad garden, a tomato garden, a herb garden, or many other types of garden, including those that you could grow over winter periods. So without it becoming really overpowering and daunting, concentrate on one square foot at a time you can guess by eye or mark the soil exactly where you want to put your plants. Or if you want a bit more of a visual, you can use sticks to mark them out easily. So as I'm starting with the row closest to the trellis, I'm going to plant cucumbers and squash. So squash would be one plant per square foot and cucumbers would be two. Now I've just prized out one seedling here and I'm going to try and plant it as close to the center of the square as possible. Simply dig a hole as deep as the seedling's rootstock. Now instead of me going through every seedling I'm going to plant today, I will make a playlist which will be on the screen now. This will give you a lot better guidance on how to plant things. You just want to press the soil down so each seedling is stable, but don't pack it down too hard. The next lot I'm going to plant up are peas. These are a little bit more difficult because there's eight per square. Again, you can use a visual aid or you can just do it by eye. And again, I'm just going to prise the seedling out of the pot, dig a hole accordingly and make sure it's stable and the soil isn't too packed. Also, gently prising out the root system will help them grow into new soil. So you don't need to see me plant all these as you can see them in all my tutorial videos, so check out more online. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the runner beans and I'm going to use 8 per square. What I'll also do is make a playlist with all the tutorials that I've done with flowers and vegetables you can grow in a square foot garden. The link will be in the description or on the screen now. So I've done most of my planting here. As you can see, all of my vining plants are at the back to go all the way up the trellis. This one for my peas, uh, my cucumbers and squash, I think it is. Uh, my tomatoes are here and corn. I've done corn for the first time, but I probably won't do them again because they take up quite a lot of space. But my tomatoes are going really well. Uh, my, cute, uh, my garlic hasn't gone too good this year but I've done that in another tutorial I've left this row here for all my companion plants I'll put the marigolds etc in there and I think I'm going to put some more chilies and whatever I've got left in this section now this whole bed is full of my homemade compost I'll leave a link in the description but this means I won't need to use any fertilizers or feeds throughout this growing period so the last thing to talk about today is watering. Now there's so many people that ask me why I don't include watering in my videos and that's because this channel is global and each country has its own different climate, temperatures and weather. So for me to include it in one video just for England, it, it won't necessarily be the same for Australia, Europe and America and things like that. Um, so basically the easiest thing for me to say is only water in the morning or after the sun has set. This gives you the most amount of water, it won't dry up in the, in the day's sun. You want to give it a really really good soaking from the roots on and around the roots and, and really give it a good soaking so it comes out the bottom of the pot 
or the container and basically you want to make sure that the water uh, is the, the soil sorry that the soil's um, moist you don't want it to be really sodden and really waterlogged and you also don't want it to dry out too much it's okay to let it dry out a little bit this will um, allow the roots to um, establish a little bit better but you don't want long periods of drought especially if you're using tomatoes and stuff that will um, cause them to split you can watch this video that will help you stop uh, tomato splitting but you really want to get that watering done regularly every day and that will help you really have a successful square foot garden I hope today's video has really helped you, uh, really pushed you to try something new. Even if you've done this before, this will help you, uh, especially with the spacing. Uh, I've had great success with this. Square Foot Gardening has changed my life, so I really hope this video has helped you as well. Anyway, good luck gardening, and I'll see you again soon. Take care of yourself. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, click the subscribe button here. Here are some links to some of my other videos. And if you tried this or any other project, I'd love to see your progress, so please join my Facebook gardening group where thousands of people are sharing photos and ideas daily. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.